Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's November the 1st, 2020. With that said, it's time to have a little bit of a class. I'm gonna teach you something, but you gotta keep your ears open. Cause God gave you two ears and one mouth. It's better to hear than it is to speak. So with that said, Let's have class. Okie doke. All right, here we go. This is a chart. Now, this chart is going to prove to you that we are in Revelations. And the book will be closed after this year. Okay? So with that said, a new book will be written. But this book will not be thrown in the trash by no means. But the new book will be written. And it will take a thousand years to write it. So, anyways, here's how this chart works. In ancient Greek, Hebrew, and Latin, Letters represented numerals according to their order in the alphabet. For example, in Greek, alpha is one, beta is two, and gamma is three, and so on. You got that? And for you that cannot see this, just zoom in with your camera, you know, if you need to get clear or rewind, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's no problem. So, with that said, the number six in the Bible is often associated with man, just as the number seven is the perfect number. And three calculates to the Trinity. The Trinity is a triangle, okay? Okay, y'all got that? Okay, it's very important that you get these three numbers. Okay, six, seven, and three. Okay, now, hey, let's get to this, baby. This is the chart. Okay? Now, it was written, this chart was made way, way back. In Greek language, Hebrew and Latin, okay? Well, I'm breaking it down in our language, the American language, okay? So, the number six, six, six. Pretty scary since Halloween was yesterday, don't you think? Oh my God. No, not at all. Because here's why, people. You've been lying all your lives. Lied to. Okay? Now I'm going to share the truth. Just like our president is doing. Okay? And I'm no different than you. We all got a father. But we only got one father. Okay? So anyways. With that said... 666 equals 18, man's number, which also equals the cubic foot. Now, back in the day, uh, when they measured things to build, they took a stick, 18 inches long, which was a cubic foot, and they would take and measure things with that stick. And, you know, 18, 18, you know, and that takes a while. We came up with the tape measure. Pretty convenient, okay? But we'll get into other classes about all that because that's where we went wrong is, you know, not giving the glory to God. So anyways, with that said, let's get to this chart. Six, six, six. Now don't get ahead of the game here, okay? Remember the lesson equals fox. 
which is the only news channel sharing the real news about our great and true president, Donald Trump. Check it out, people. This is how you use the chart. I'm not going to keep showing you the chart over and over. You can do it yourself. Okay? It's simple. Okay? Here we go! Six, six, six. F O X. Wow! How can that be? Well, they knew it way back then, buddy. You better believe it, buddy. You better believe the truth. Okay? It's happening. So anyways, with that said, everything's positive here, okay? Except one thing, one negative, which means zero. Doesn't give you nothing, okay? It's a lie. So, Fox News is the only station that's giving you real news. All the other ones are lying to you, okay? Because they want you to go backwards. Okay. Now, let's get to the chart again. Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Check it out. One, five, one, three, one, equal, 11. Do the math yourself. Jesus equals 11. Now, check this out. Teacher. Jesus was a teacher. Teacher equals 33. Not only did Jesus die at 33 and rose from the dead, three elevens equal 33. Okay? Now, you, you'll understand the calculation with the three with the Trinity. Okay? Now, Jehovah. My goodness, Jehovah comes up to be 33, which was another name for Jesus. Now, Counselor, another name for Jesus, comes up to 33. Wow, isn't that pretty neat, isn't it? Do the math. Do it. There's the chart. It's so big you can do it at home, okay? You learn it at home, people. So anyways, now check this one out. Prophet. There were many prophets, weren't there? Right? 44. 44. Four elevens equal 44. Why didn't it come up 33? Because there's many prophets and only one Jesus. You got that? Because that number one is a very important number, people, when we move to the next class lesson. Anyways, don't you love it? The chart, okay? We're written back, way back here. But God showed me this this week for you. And he can teach you too, okay? You just gotta listen. So anyways, with that said, God, G-O-D, seven, six, four, equal 17. Wait a minute, 17? What's that supposed to represent? I'll tell you. One, seven, okay? Seven, perfect number, you got that? One, seven, perfect number. That's be 17 because there's only one God. Oh, you're getting that, huh? I see, okay. Now let's check this one out. We're moving up to a higher level, people. Father, Father, there's the numbers. You can do the calculation, you know, take the F. Okay, there's a six. You got it. Six, A, one, you see, six, one, two, eight, five, nine equals 19. 19. Oh, wait a minute. 19. Guess what? There's that one again. 
And then you got that nine again. What did Jesus say? My Father in heaven, God the Father and the Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Three. Now, three threes equal nine. The Trinity, okay? Three, three, three. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. There's a three, there's a three, there's a three. Three threes equal nine. Now look at this. One. That's because there's only one Father. Just like there's only one God. Yay, yay, yay. So, with that said, here is the number of the beast. Are you ready for this one? Oh, I am. I'm not ready for the number because we're not going to have to take the number because we got a president that stood up for us. How about that, people? Satan, the father of lies, who's been ruling on this earth ever since we've been born because of sin. But Jesus died on the cross because he loves us. And he took that sin upon his back. Now, I know you was a ticket to keep sin, but let's not get distracted here. We'll get into later detail on that one. Satan. The number is one, two, or I mean, one, one, two, one, five, equal ten. That is the number of the beast. Now, you know how we come up with that number? Check it out. There's only one Satan, and he's a zero because he equals nothing. Okay? Now, check it out, people, because you got to be able to do the math, and only the Father can teach you how to do the math, but you've never been taught this before. So it's, we got to go to school again. 10 plus 10 equal 20. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Guess what? It's 2020. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. 10 plus 10 equals 20. 20, 20. The mark of the beast. But you're not going to have to take it. Because we got a president, Donald J. Trump, that has stood up for you and I and stood up and took a stand for God, our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Now, yesterday was Halloween. Here is the first treat. And this ain't a trick. You see this stuff disappearing or anything? No. You ready for your treat? Here's one of them. Behind curtain one. I love it. Hey, check it out. God will finally reign over us. USA. Us all. Us all. USA. That's what that stands for. The USA stands for us all under God. So, you're ready for your second trick? Here you go! <laughs> hey! Check this out because this is the best treat you'll ever see in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Seven, seven, seven. Again, seven, seven, seven. 7 plus 7 plus 7 equal 21! 2021! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Donald Trump, and thank you, Father God, and thank you, Jesus. Amen? Now, the Star of David. You know what that, you know what God has shown me what that star means? I'm going to show you right now. 
Just like when Jesus was born, there was a star. There was a star that shined. Three kings went to him to give him gifts. Well, it's kind of a little different here in my opinion. You ready for this one? Because this is what our president, Donald J. Trump, and the seven trumpets are blowing. Check it out. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost seals us, seals us finally in 2021. Got it? Man, woman, create child. In other words, a man and a woman make creation and create a child. So, with that said, this guy here is no longer going to take your children away from you. So, thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Donald Trump, and thank you, our Father God. He loves you, and so do I. And you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.